What is the biggest thing that you've ever built, apart from the mountain of mess in your bedroom? Is it a snowman? How about a triple chocolate cake? Or what about an entire solar system with the sun in the middle and all of the planets orbiting around the outside, including our lovely Earth? Does it sound too massive to build? Well, I'm gonna show you how. And spoiler alert, it is awe-inspiringly, mind-bogglingly big. To show you just how big it is, we're gonna do it to scale, so everything is the right relative size and distance. First of all, we need our sun. Here it is, and it's really hot, 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 hot. I'm just kidding, because I'm using an exercise ball that's 60 centimetres wide. Now, our real sun is actually 1.5 million kilometres wide, and it is so big that it has so much gravity that that gravity pulls all the planets towards it so they circle around it. Speaking of planets, now the first four planets closest to our sun are our rocky planets. Here they are. And the clue is in the name, they're made of rock. We've got Mercury, Venus, Earth and Mars. And at this scale, Mercury and Mars are less than a quarter of a centimetre wide, whereas Earth and Venus are about half a centimetre wide. So in real life, that is how big these planets are compared to that massive sun I just had in my hands. There you are, tiny little Earth. Coochie, 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 coo. Next up, we have the four gas giants and they are made of Ding, ding, you guessed it, gas. They are Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune. And as you can see, at this scale, they are so much bigger than those little rocky planets that I had in my hand before. Here, Jupiter is six centimeters wide. That's 11 times bigger than Earth. But if you really want to get a sense of how big our solar system is, then you need to lay these planets out, just like I am right now, at the right distances. So for that, let's go to space. See? Space! Seriously, you're gonna need a lot of space because if you start with a sun this big in the middle, then the furthest planet, Neptune, is gonna be a massive two kilometers away. So we're gonna start by putting our sun here. Our first planet is Mercury, and in reality, it is 58 million kilometers from the sun. But at our scale, it's 25 meters. So I'm gonna put it here. Next up is Venus. Venus is 107 million kilometers away from our sun. So here, I'm gonna put it 46 meters away. Venus is actually the hottest planet in the whole solar system, which is interesting because it's not the nearest to the sun, but surface temperatures here can reach 393 degrees Celsius. Next up is my favorite, and I'm sure your favorite too, Earth. Earth is 150 million kilometers from the sun, or at this scale, it's about 65 meters. Earth has the perfect conditions for life, which makes sense because we're here, and that's because it is the ideal distance from the sun. Next up is the home of the Martians. I'm just kidding, we haven't found any aliens here, although it is the next place in space that humans are hoping to visit, Mars. It's 250 million kilometers from the sun, but at this scale, it's 98 meters away. Gravity on Mars is about a third of the strength of what it is here, which means you can jump three times higher on Mars than you can on Earth. Slam dunk. Once we've passed the four rocky planets, we're hit by the asteroid belt. The asteroid belt is, well, it's basically a belt made of asteroids, the clues in the name. It acts like a boundary between the rocky planets and the gas planets. On the other side of our asteroid belt, we've got our first gas giant, Jupiter. We're now 335 meters away from our exercise ball sun, but in reality, Jupiter is 755 million kilometers from the real sun. Now, a fun fact about Jupiter is that it's so big, it's thought that over 60 million years ago, it bumped a space rock off its course and sent it towards Earth. 
and it's thought that that is the rock that killed all the dinosaurs. So don't mess with Jupiter. So now I've walked 617 metres from our sun and here is Saturn. In reality, it's about 1.5 billion kilometres from the real sun. Now, there's three fun facts about Saturn I have to tell you. One, scientists think it rains diamonds. Two, one of its moons has a liquid ocean. And three, it doesn't look like a fried egg in real life. So now I've trekked 1,240 metres from my starting point over there to put down this little legend, Uranus, or Uranus, either pronunciation is fine. In reality, Uranus is just under 3 billion kilometres away from the Sun. Uh, interestingly, Uranus actually has rings like Saturn, but they're a bit harder to see, and instead of going around that way, they go around that way. And that's because scientists think something knocked it, which then made it tilt. This is our penultimate planet, and our final one is all the way over there. And finally, two kilometres, 2,000 metres away from where we start. 4.5 billion kilometres away from the sun, we have Neptune. Neptune is so far away from the Sun, it takes so long to orbit it, that one year on Neptune is the same as 165 Earth years. That means on Neptune, I'd be 4,290 years old. I feel that old right now. And that's it. We've built our solar system, and I can't even see where we started from. The sun is 2,000 metres, two kilometres away from where I am now, or in reality, that distance is 4.5 billion kilometres. And I just think it's absolutely incredible that from all the way over there, the sun can control this planet here and everything in our solar system in between. I actually have no words for it. It is absolutely out of this world.